Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to that Chelsea career mode. As you guys can see in the points there, we have 12, Benfica on 10, Celtic on 6, and North Zealand on 1. So that means we can just lose our last match if we like, you know. We can still get second place, but we want that first place, so we want to win our next match against North Zealand. We did decide we're going to change up our team a bit. We put a reserve team in, not even a second team, guys. You can see a few good players on there. We actually play, I believe, John Terry, but a lot of um, reserve players. I believe we put in George Saville. We put in Clifford. We decided to play the three up front, um, being Clifford. Moses and um, Perez actually no foul Kyle Dembaba and it actually shows in the first goal 36th minute they go ahead 1-0 with North Strand making it past Turnbull that's right we didn't play De Gea as you guys know I told you I played my reserves but a few second team players Turnbull was one of those second team players as well as Moses who actually gets on the ball here at, from a through ball look at Moses just taking on the defender the strength was too much and makes it 1-1. 80th minute makes it 1-1. Are we going to pull away with a draw? Draw would be good, you know. We didn't want to win. We didn't mind losing. But we wanted to win. We didn't mind losing. We didn't mind a draw. Draw would be good. But the win would be extra good. And this is what happened. Lampard on the ball. He finds George Saville. And George... So fucking hell, man. George Saville. Showing his uncle Jimmy Saville's. Roots, look at that, shagging the floor right there. <laughs> Saville puts it into the back of the net in the 89th minute, making it 2-1 against North Jalan, and what a great goal from him. Look at that, just outside the box, pulling out a Lampard goal, you know, that kind of Lampard goal you see flying into the back of the net, and it makes it 2-1, and that's the full time score. North Strand put North Jalan 1-0 up, and Moses and Saville equalized, and then put Chelsea... 2-1 up, a big goal, and the last 10 minutes were just the greatest 10 minutes I've ever played for Chelsea, you know, with that reserve team as well, we just played so good, and look at this, Leonardo Jabu Leonardo Jabucci, Bonucci <laughs> has completed his suspension and is now eligible for selection again, so he's going to be back in the team, and hopefully he will be playing some beast games, hopefully he'll be putting in some beast performances, and be coming up against our next opponent because we we finished the group stage we passed that group stage in the champions league look at that we got 15 points from the whole thing we lost one and we won five we didn't draw it draw any i believe that loss was against benfica at the start of the season man it looked it looked kind of dull there it looked kind of glum if that's the word glum Sounds kind of funny. <laughs> but yeah, it looked kind of dull there. It looked like we wouldn't get anything. And then we had to come back and pull off some beast performances. As you can see, Ganales here gets a great through ball to Juan Mata. Juan Mata on the ball. Straight after half time. Demba Ba. What a bullet of a header. 47th minute. Demba Ba makes it 1 0 to Chelsea against Sunderland. And my god, what a great game this turned out to be. Demba Ba is actually turning out to be a beast, guys. Let me know in the comment section if you play Demba Ba, if you play on Chelsea career mode, or if you play, maybe you play on Newcastle career mode before Demba Ba moved in the January transfer window. Let me know in that comment section what you think of his skills, man, because I believe he's the most complete player in the game. I know you got a lot of complete players. You got Falcao. A few other players like Messi, Ronaldo, but a player like Demba Ba, you know, he's only 82 rated and he's got the pace, the jumping, the heading, he's got near enough everything, you know, he's a great player, a complete player as I've said. And that's just him, man. But look at that. Sebastian Larson puts in a free kick in the 63rd minute. We had to get a replay for that. Look at that. I put my defender there. My goalkeeper jumped there. We just couldn't keep it out. Falcao on the ball, though. He's taking on two defenders. Get straight past it. Still Falcao on his left foot. What a great goal from Falcao. I believe his name is Ramadal. Is that Ramadal? Let me know in the comment section if his name is Ramadal, man. But he puts it in 86th minute, making it 2-1 to Chelsea. A big goal for Chelsea. Are Sunderland going to come back? That would be the worst scenario to happen. As you can see, I tried to play the de defensive. De Gea makes a mistake, but the big mistake was there. Ashley Cole, one of the first worst first touches I've saw in the game so far. And I've saw some pretty bad first touches, you know. But it leads to Stephen Fletcher getting the last goal of the game in the 82nd minute, making it 2-2. And Sunderland have made a great comeback. I believe we scored first with Demba Ba straight after the halftime whistle. They scored. We scored. 
They scored. They got another chance right at the end. Luis Saha could have sweated. It went for glory. It goes just wide. Luis Saha, the former Manchester United man, couldn't put his name on that score sheet. We draw the match 2-2. Another draw. You know, we've been drawing a lot of matches recently. Fletcher and Larson getting the two goals for Sunderland. And Falcao and Dembaba, two strikers, getting the goals for Chelsea. Maybe I need to change up my formation a bit. I don't know. You're probably going to have to wait till next the next episode to see what happens. Are we going to change up the formation or are we going to keep it the same? You're going to have to wait and see, man, because I've already recorded it. You guys will see what happens. As you can see, who I'm at here to Demba Bar. Demba Bar on the ball. He's just going to cut that bet to Marin. Marin on the ball. He's going to take the shot. in force to Falcao. And Falcao in the 82nd minute. Makes it 1-0. 1-0 against a great club. I believe it's Liverpool, right? Yeah, it's Liverpool, man. A great club. A great team to roast. You know, I didn't I didn't want to smash them apart, really. No, it's not Liverpool. It's Southampton. Why did I think of Liverpool? Probably because it's an all-red kit. But, yeah, that's no excuse. <laughs> but we win that match, guys, due to that Falcao goal. And he just seems to be in the right position at the right time so much. His positioning is just so good for Chelsea right now. And he's a great player. You know, I'm pretty happy that I brought him in. De Gea is actually playing like a beast as well. Bonucci plays like a beast when he plays. A lot of big signing. Gnarlins, if you guys didn't know, he's scoring some beast goals. Even though he's a CDM, he's playing defensively pretty well too. Just the great signings that I made in the summer transfer window are paying off. Maybe in the January transfer window it's going to get better. Maybe it's going to get worse. You're going to have to find out later on in the few episodes, man. But if we look at the table there, Manchester City on 36 points. We're on 33. So we need a win to catch up, you know. We need to catch up to that team. Manchester City. We don't want the blue half of Manchester taking on the trophy. We want the blue half of London taking on the trophy. And it doesn't look likely. Steven Island puts it into the back of the net, making it 1-0 to Aston Villa in the first five minutes, the first three minutes even. You know, that's not great. You know, I know my defenders got problems, but a lot a lot of defending's going well for me now. I believe I'm improving quite a lot. I'm not gonna show you guys the defending I do. I know I know it's good myself, you know. I don't need to prove myself, do I? Do I need to prove myself? Maybe I'm gonna make a defensive montage. <laughs> but as you can see, Falcao just equalizes there for us. As you guys know, he just comes to the aid so much for us. And he's just a great player overall, man. But look at this. El Amadi. El Amadi I'm not sure how you pronounce his name, man. But he gets the goal, making it 2-1 against Chelsea in the 41st minute. If you guys didn't see that run... They got through with everything I threw at them. I made a tackle. They got through anyway. I made another tackle. They snatched the ball. It was just so unrealistic. And it looked like EA was trolling me until Demba Ba snatched it and tried to get a goal. But once again, Ramadal Falcao was in the right position at the right time in the 48th minute. Just seven minutes after their goal. And I was like, EA sucked that. <laughs> Suck on that finger, man. I just, I just went to the fans. I said, what? Can I, I can't hear you. You know, I can't hear you. <laughs> Falcao getting the two goals for Chelsea in that game, though. Aston Villa getting those two goals for Steve, Steven Island and Alan Madi. Stay tuned for our setup video. Also, a surprise video is coming featuring some sweets, some Skittles. You like those Skittles? <laughs> a funny, some funny stuff on that episode, man. That episode, that video. We're gonna make a new series about some funny stuff, man. Two other people coming to Bros Got Game, man. But look at that table. Stay tuned for the next episode. Will we catch Manchester City? Are these draws way too much for me to handle? Stay tuned for some crucial decisions. Let's see if I can handle it, man. Let's see if we can hit 25 likes on this episode. Follow us on Twitter. Like our Facebook page. Those links are in the description below. Share the video on Facebook. Retweet the video. Favorite the video. Click those annotations. Check out the last episode of the Chelsea Career Mode out there on the left. And check out our Player Career Mode, the road to success out there on the right. A like and a comment is always appreciated. Hit that subscribe button and join the family if you haven't already. It's been your boy, Sonny. And I'm signing out. Peace out.